Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing a vehicle debug resource, which is useful for developers and other owners on their server. We're checking out the top speed of vehicles, checking out um, all of the models and the current speeds and the RPM. All that good stuff is shown uh, just by running a simple command, which is very nice to see. Um, real quick, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having our support throughout the month of January. Um, while I don't know the support yet because it is still only December, it's almost a over a month uh, from when this video actually comes out. Um, I had recorded 23 videos all in this single day, um, so I just want to say thank you. Hopefully the videos are um, enjoyable and hopefully they are useful for you. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. Um, so vehicle debug, what this does is it is just a simple script in game. Um, there is a usage, uh, so you can see that it doesn't use any um, that much resources for your thing. And there's also a config so you can change it from miles per hour to kilometers, um, how the notifications could be made. Should you be able to fix the vehicle with this debug menu? All that good stuff is here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the top of the resource description and you're going to subscribe. And then you're going to go ahead and go to the resource page here and then scroll down to where you see download slash GitHub. This will take you to the GitHub page. And all you have to do for this is to go ahead and press code and then go open or download with zip. Don't open on GitHub desktop unless you actually have that. But you're going to go ahead and download the zip file. And in here, you're going to have um, R1 underscore vehicle debug dash main. You're going to go to wherever your server is located. For me, it's my server data resources folder where all my resources are. Uh, for you, you may have a TX data folder. You may have a Zap hosting FTP file access. One of those two um, is the way to go. And then in here, you can see there is a secondary folder. A lot of people make this mistake on resources coming from GitHub where there's a single folder and then there's a secondary folder. The secondary folder is the one you're going to drag into your resources folder, not the first folder. If you drag in the first folder, you're going to run into problems. And in here, you can see there's that config.lula which you can edit with notepad or notepad plus plus configure this to your liking all right so once you have configured it to your liking what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and copy and rename don't rename the folder just copy the name of the folder or remember it however you want to do that and you're going to find your server.cfg for me it's just in my server data folder for you it may be on your zap hosting ftp um, if you do edit it on ftp make sure you have also edited it on their web interface otherwise sometimes it resets if you're on tx admin they also have a built-in uh, web interface version of it but you can also just through your files and then you're just going to go ahead and save this once you added that line into your ensure the name of the folder and if you start your resource what you're going to do is you're just going to take a look at console here make sure you see started resource without any errors and you know you are good to go now we can hop in game and try it out all right so i am in game here and if i type slash v debug here you can see it has gone ahead and opened up that debug and you can see the top speed of my current speed is there my engine body tank i can reset i can teleport i can delete the vehicle i can fix the vehicle all that good stuff can be done directly from this menu which makes it pretty cool i can show you what gear the car is in how much rpm it is your current top speed what your top speed has been um zero to 100 and how many seconds zero to 60 and how many seconds zero to 45 and how many seconds all of that good stuff and you can also teleport uh to the military base here so if you really want to test it maybe when it's not snowing um you have that set uh teleport area here so thank you so much for watching hopefully this does help you out on your server um and i think it's just pretty cool to see and all that good stuff anyway thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video tomorrow for me it will be about a month until i record it but for you it will only be a day see you tomorrow everyone goodbye and we just gonna watch